like index classes, like 10-0, 11-0, stuff like that, and uh, stuff like that. But I will be probably entering the car in the stick shift class. The test and tune here isn't really good. They have so many classes that you don't really get a whole lot of test and tune runs in, so you pretty much have to go and get in a class to really test and tune, which is weird, but I might possibly do the roll class. I've still got the radials on the car. Um, but if I don't, I'll just go straight to the bias flies and uh, do that. I may, at the bare minimum, do a test and tune roll race because the, uh, the car is still a fairly new setup to me. Um, I haven't really made a good, successful pass uh, with the stick shift and the way the turbo kit is now. Um, so I need to get a good log and um, go from there. And uh, the, the roll race would help me with that just to get a good log. So anyways, we'll see. Tim's going to meet me there with the uh, Malibu and uh, try to film a couple of his passes also. Well, <clears throat> it is the next day and I'm going to kind of narrate what happened yesterday because I didn't really have a good chance to do any talking in between runs. Um, I haven't even unloaded the car yet. It's still on the trailer. Got the radials in the back. I had the radials on it <clears throat> just to drive it around on the street. I drove it to Raleigh last weekend and uh, I used the radials for the roll class for this deal. Um, I only did test and tune on all this. I was thinking about maybe putting it into classes like I said but the car just wasn't running like I thought it should and really that's my fault um, as a tuner builder whatever I'm just not up to par with making a bunch of changes to a car and figuring it out um, <clears throat> so I did three test and tune roll passes on this thing and um, the first pass was pretty terrible um, I'm gonna try to include all the videos of these things that I think I've got. I didn't get the rear GoPro on all the videos just because I was so disgusted with how the car was running. I was just doing, um, just the, I was turning on the in car. Um, but I did three test and tune rolls, and the first one was was terrible. Um, I didn't know where to start really. I started in second, and it was too short to start in second, so it took forever for it to roll into boost. And I I have a rolling anti lag button, but I didn't hit it, so. Um, I made one pass and it was absolutely terrible. Um, I think I've got the time slips in here. For all of that, there's a pile of time slips in the car. So here are my roll slips and that's my uh, quarter mile slips there. Um, as you can see, first pass was pretty much aborted. I actually did four rolls. I didn't realize that until... Um, I uh, looked at my my sheets here. I did four. Uh, first pass, I pretty much rolled up, didn't know where to start, and it took forever to roll into boost. So I pretty much just kind of aborted mission on that one. And you can see 74 miles an hour. So I pretty much just coasted through the trap. Um, Second pass, I went up there and I uh, backed up. I think I started in first this time, and the car was just pig rich. Would barely climb through the RPM. Um, just just felt like a straight turd. Um, I think the the air fuels on most of the pass was like 10-1, basically bottoming out the air fuel gauge. Um, so the car was just was struggling to make power. the few
fuel being dumped in it. But the second pass was a 130.97. And uh, that was on, that was probably like 15 to 18 pounds. And the reason I say that big of a range is because first gear only makes, um, makes only makes so much boost because there's not a whole lot of load on the car. And then fourth gear obviously makes max boost. And I'm trying to play with the boost duty settings to kind of make the, the boost come in faster and level off instead of coming in like a century blower type deal. And it's not really, um, I talked to Felix Hamilton and he s suggested that maybe the car was spiking boost, but it's not really spiking because I have a five pound spring in there and it'll hold five pounds all day long, all the way through the pool um, and never creep up. So it must just be a product of the being stick shift with a turbo that big on a 5.3 um but anyways my third pass Leaned it out a little bit and um, ran a 135.65, which playing with the air fuel and gaining almost five miles an hour gives you an idea of how rich it was. Uh, but it was still rich. I never did get all the fuel out of it throughout the day. It was just, it was still really rich. Um, and the third and final roll pass was a 136.11 and that was more playing with the air fuel again and um, I didn't want to take too much too much out of that time because um, I didn't want to just run it lean and blow it up that day um, first quarter mile pass was pretty much an abort too um it just the car just wasn't wasn't feeling right after i put it on a load from the from the start from a um quarter mile dig and i aborted that when it went 1190 at 108 um just like i said just aborted that pass and um moved on to the next one after the car cooled down the second pass i did uh add a little bit of boost to it um i had a little bit i had about five percent on the duty and um i think i put a degree of timing in because i've always heard that when your car is really low on timing it makes it the air fuel real fat um so i just put it through a degree in it just to see because as of right now uh, from the people that I've talked to, my car is really conservative on the tune. Um, I'm probably at least four to five degrees low on my timing. I pretty much got 93 octane timing in it. And uh, I think that's what's really killing me. Um, so I need to get it on the dyno in the near future and just add some timing to it and see what it wants. second pass was a 
11 0 at 138. A little bit better, but my dilemma with this was is I had a tire pressure gauge and um, it was reading, I was trying to run 18 pounds of pressure in the rear tires and it was reading 18 pounds of pressure on the gauge. But I would go up there, I would do my burnout, do a good burnout, and then when I would launch it, it would, I kept turning the, I turned the limiter up and it would, it launched at 4,500 RPM on nine pounds of boost and it just completely almost cut the car off. In the log, it drags the engine down all the way from 4,500 to 2,500 RPM on the launch. And it, when you do that, it, the car falls out of boost and it takes all the way through first gear to get it back in boost again, um, which kills your run. But it, I mean, it still ran 11.0 at 138 like that. So I figured out that my gauge was wrong. So these nice guys um, that have a twin turbo third gen Camaro, they lent me their compressor and I used a different tire gauge and put 18 pounds of pressure in the rear tires, which is what I was shooting for the whole time when they had 10 pounds. So I got that figured out and then I went up there and completely my fault, but I did a crappy burnout and did not get any heat in the tires. So this time it spun really bad. Was 1160 at 138. The prior pass was 11 0 at 138. The difference was the 60 foot. I don't think I'm gonna get her figured out today, guys. And it went 11 6 at 138. And my best 60 foot of the day was this 169, um, and that was with it re bogging really hard. Um, but so hopefully. It's an easy 10 second car um, with a decent burnout. Um, ultimately, my goal with the car is to run some 970s, 980s relatively consistently with it. And um, I did try the no lift shift on a on a one run through one or two gears. I didn't do it on the last two or any of these other. I think I tried it on this one, this first pass and the 1190 the one that i let out on and it works fine i just did not try it because i had plenty of other stuff to try um but that's really about the whole story on her i mean it made i will say six and a half passes down the track and drove on the trailer and there's no issues with it so for something that i built in my driveway i mean I'm really not that upset about it. We'll take her back to the track and get it lined out. Hopefully I can get a uh, 
get a dyno session lined up where I can put it on the dyno and add three or four degrees of timing slowly and see what this thing actually wants and make some more power. I really think we're leaving a lot of power on the table with this tune that I've got in it. So I've just never had the, the desire to turn it up, but I think I'm, I think I've got that desire now. I really need some 150 traps to fit, to do what I'm trying to do with this car. So anyways, appreciate you guys watching and, uh, tune in for the next one.